Francois Payard's namesake patisserie and bistro in New York City took off immediately. The enthusiastic Frenchman cultivated his passion for pastry as a youngster in his grandfather's pastry shop on the Riviera. In 1995, the Beard Society named him Pastry Chef of the Year. Now his warm chocolate tart. The chef rolls out some sweet pastry dough. What you want? We want like a quarter of inch thick. Voila. You see? The dough on each direction is like a quarter of inch thick. What we do now, we may put some that into the dough. Then this may help to relieve the steam. Over here, I have a balloonless ring. I already had a little bit of butter on the side of the ring. The butter may help to don't stick. Sorry, it may help the dough to stick to the ring, sorry. Over here, I may roll out the dough, and you see, I upside down the dough. If I upside down the dough, it's because I want the little holes for the steam go beyond the bottom, and the steam, you know, may come out from the tart. Now what you do very slowly, we bring the dough to the bottom of the ring, Voila. And with the rolling pen, you make it all the excess. Now you remove the size. And now what we do is very simple. Make sure you sprinkle a little bit more the dough, the bottom of the table. And we may, with the finger, start to raise the size of the dough. Now you have to make sure your finger is going, going down to the bottom of the ring. It's very important because if you don't have a beautiful edge, you take a parchment paper and a tray, you slide the, the tart shell inside, and we may bake. Alors we may bake for light brown color. It may take approximately like um, 15, 12 to 15 minutes, 300 degrees, 380 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see. You see, it's light brown. The edge are perfect and it's cooked to the bottom of it. Now you have to make sure for this tart the dough is well cooked. Because after, what we may do, our filling may bake for six minutes. But don't be enough to bake the tart. Now we may do our filling. For the filling, it's very simple. We have the heavy cream over here and the milk. What we do, we may bring the heavy cream and the milk to a boil. Vanilla pulp is added. Voila. Voila. When the milk and the cream is boiling, we may pour over the chocolate. What we do, we just pour the milk and the cream over the chocolate. We may remove our vanilla beans. And you see, because the drops melt very quickly, it's just enough to melt the drops. You may leave two seconds. Over here, I have my egg yolks. The egg yolk has to be with. You see, it's a very simple recipe. This recipe I used to make in the restaurant sometime, and I used to say I'm warm with hazelnut ice cream, you know, and it's great. It's almost like a souffle, almost. Just stir the milk, the cream, and the chocolate. The beaten yolks are added to the chocolate. Now you pour all the chocolate into the yolks. One second. It's not too practical in my oven, you see. Voila. And now we may bake the tart for like five to six minutes. What we want, we want almost like a custard. We bake the tart five to six minutes 
like 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Meanwhile, the chef fashions chocolate decorations. Incidentally, the marble slab he uses was in the freezer. What we want at this point, we just want to allow the tart to cool down two minutes. Alors, the great idea about this tart is, or you can eat the tart when it's warm, like this one, or you can allow the tart to cool down. If you have a kid, you know, you can have the tart, you know, for afternoon. Voilà. But if you like to eat warm, you know, you just can serve in the restaurant and cut it. Alors, you just slide the cardboard on the bottom of it. Voilà. Place over your tray. Voilà. You see? It's still nice and liquid in the center, almost like a chocolate souffle we make before. Oh, you have to be quick because they may melt. They may melt quickly too. Voila. Little bit of chocolate. Et voilà, bon appétit. Thank you.